Good afternoon, this is Staff's Live News. I'm Chris Heath. And I'm Winnie Core. Here are your headlines at three o'clock. Three cars were involved in an accident on Litchfield Road in Hanley. Our reporter Wakas Ali was the first on the scene and he has this report. This is a familiar scene replayed across the roads of the UK. In this accident on Lynchfield Street in Hanley, three cars were involved and one driver was treated for back pains. Traffic was at a standstill for about 10 minutes when police came to the scene and cleared the cars to the side of the road. The only indication that an accident ever happened here is the debris left behind. Waka Sally reporting for Staff's Life. Police have arrested two local men in connection with the death of a 42-year-old woman yeah. in Nutton. Police and paramedics were called to the property at midnight, but the woman was pronounced dead at the scene with unspecified injuries. The men are being questioned at Staffordshire Police Station. Meanwhile, in Burslem, another major investigation has been launched by police after a woman's body was found. The body of the 41-year-old woman was discovered in suspicious circumstances at an address in Westport Road last night. She's not been named, but it believes, it's believed she's from the local area. A post-mortem is due to take place today to identify the exact cause of death. The Wedgwood Museum has gone into administration after getting into over £100 million pounds worth of debt. A fundraising campaign is being planned to pay off the museum's creditors and avoid the need to sell any of its treasures. It remains open to the public and no redundancies are expected among the staff. A leading Stoke-on-Trent campaigner for free cancer drug Herceptin has died. Doc Griffiths from Hartshill died on Friday at the Douglas Macmillan Hospital in Stoke-on-Trent. She helped women fight to have the cancer drug Herceptin free on the, VA, on the NHS. I'm absolutely one. A national campaign is seeing the girls single, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, being released as a charity cover for Cancer Research UK. Many celebrities have joined in the making of the collaboration the and hopes to, to raise millions for the charity. The single is now available to download. While girls certainly just want to have fun. So I've heard. The first production motorcycle ever made was sold in Stafford this weekend. The 1894 Hildebrand and Wolfmuller eventually went on auction for over £86,000 to an unknown buyer. Andrew Stewart has more. The Hilda was valued at between £40 and £60,000. Conservative leader David Cameron says he'll target Labour seats in the upcoming election. The Tories were previously after Liberal Democrat constituencies, but have U-turned following Nick Clegg's success in the TV debates. One seat Mr Cameron will be after is Stoke-on-Trent Central, which has remained Labour since its creation in the 1950s. Staffordshire Fire Service is offering a free home visit service to anyone who is worried about the safety of their homes. John Gilmore reports. As part of the county-wide scheme, the fire service is hoping to visit as many houses as possible. Two-thirds of house fires start in the kitchen and one of the main purposes of the visit is to talk to people to make sure that they know their escape route. They also check the smoke alarms wherever they are. As watch manager Des Stoddart explains. First, we come to the property and we offer specifically tailored fire safety advice to the occupants of the property and the type of property that they live in. Uh, no, we'll come up, check first. people's smoke no, alarms. No, if they haven't got arms. smoke alarms, the service includes well, the fitting of, it? Have free to. Fitting of smoke alarms does with 10-year batteries. So I've got to read uh, this we first. We also check escape routes, okay, right. we check people's kitchens, uh, and we offer right. television so advice if then they then 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 then. smoke. Okay. Then we'll offer advice about safety. Yeah, so I don't need to move yet, really, do I? Book your free home fire risk check. Phone 0800 0241 999. This is John Gilmore, Staff's Live. Now, what's the most annoying thing to drivers? Parking attendants? Roadworks? Cyclists? No, it's potholes. Staff's Live has previously reported on large potholes in Shelton, and this week we're following the progress of these repairs. We're speaking to residents, council workers, and drivers 
In a moment, I'll be speaking to George Woodward, whose car has been damaged by the potholes. But first, Ori O'Neill area reports. Well, I'm now joined by George Woodward, who's experienced these potholes and had damage to his car. So thanks for joining us, George. Um, what exactly has happened to your car? Um, yeah, I was just driving home one night and um, I went over a pothole and there was this really loud bang and straight away something felt wrong. I thought maybe the tracking had gone on the steering. Um, it just got worse as I drove home. I got home, I left it because it was about midnight. The next day I looked at the car and the wheel was just completely flat so I took it off to put the spare on. And um, when I took the hubcap off, the wheel had gone from being like round to just dented, like really badly, like it wouldn't have been able to drive it. And how much is this costing you repairs wise? Uh, well, I had to get that wheel trued and straightened. I had to get the spare wheel because the guy who had the car before had done the exact same thing. Um, and two new tyres, so it worked out about just under £120. So quite a lot there. Have you spoken to the council about this at all? Have you got anything from them? No, I haven't actually spoken to them. I didn't know you could report them. I think they need to sort something out where they can report where potholes are so they can get fixed and also report where damage has been done to try and get a bit of money back. It's £120. It's quite a bit of money. And obviously it's not your fault at all that you've had to pay out this. So how does it make you feel? It's just a bit annoying really. Like you pay all that money for council tax, well we don't, but you pay all the money for like road tax and then the roads are just in a complete state and it's something that they've known about for a while and then they're just not seem to be doing anything about it. Well thanks for coming in today George and we'll have more on the potholes in the next few days. Now while students are getting ready to go home for the summer, local businesses in Shelton are preparing for the toughest time of the year. Liz Quinn spoke to some local business owners to find out how they will be coping. Our customers mainly are students. <laughs> the full lineup for BBC One's weekend has been announced. Florence and the Machine and Rihanna are just two of the acts who will be playing the free gig in Bangor's Fainal Park in Wales on May the 22nd and 23rd. Fans wishing to attend can register for tickets via the event's official website. Now the BBC's apologised after the final moments of Saturday's episode of Doctor Who was spoiled by an animated Graham Norton dancing next to the banner advertising over the rainbow. Andrew Lloyd Webber's search for a new Dorothy followed the episode, but fans complained that the trail ruined the climactic speech obscuring actor Matt Smith's mouth. Over 5,000 fans have contacted the BBC to officially complain. The corporation has admitted that the timing was inappropriate. Diane Vickers has proven her X Factor critics wrong by storming to number one with her debut single, Once. The 18-year-old singer who earlier this year performed in Arrival of Little Voice in the West End came fourth in the 2008 series of The X Factor. Her debut album, Songs from the Ch Tainted Cherry Tree, is out in May. Emmerdale actor Tony Audenshaw broke a world record at yesterday's London Marathon. Not only was he the first celebrity to cross the finish line at 3 hours and 13 minutes, but he now holds the record for the fastest ever runner to complete the race whilst dressed as a baby. Princess Beatrice was the first royal to compete in the marathon and also entered the record books. She and 32 others were tied together forming a human caterpillar led by virgin boss Sir Richard Branson. Sounds like tiring stuff. Well, former Coronation Street actress Denise Welsh has admitted she was addicted to cocaine during her time on the soap. The confession comes in her autobiography, where the Loose Women panelist re revealed depression caused her to take the drug illegally. Well, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. You can always get our latest stories on staffs.ac.uk slash staffslive, and we will be back tomorrow. We certainly will be. Have a nice night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.